This is a quick tip for little ambience. So we all know this, when we're walking around at home, we usually want to do something. We put on some music, do the dishes, something like that. Create like this really nice ambience, set the, set the mood, so to speak. And you could do the same thing in LARP. Like if you were in like a modern setting, you could use regular music and regular music players like we do today. But if you are in like a fantasy setting, a medieval setting, or just something before the tape recorder, um, or uh, what's it called, the, the gramophone or something like that, you might be in a tough spot because you kind, you need bards, you need mag magic, magician, not magicians, musicians. Magic is music, you know. But here's the thing, we're doing a LARP. And luckily, we live in the real, t in real time, we live in the future. We live in the year 2017 or whatever this year is that you're watching this video in. We have cell phones or computers this size, which can contain a lot of music. Even you could use an iP iPad, pod, whatever the kids are using these days. And you can get speakers that are small and transportable. You can even get some that you don't need to put extra power into. You just need power on the device that you're playing from. You can even modify a headset to create speakers. And they're small, compact, and you can play music from them. And you can play ambient music. Sounds to create, to sort of set the mood for whatever LARP or whatever room or whatever house or whatever it is, the, the area you want to set the mood in. For a long time I was against using music like this at LARP because it felt artificial, it felt like too much. And in some cases it is too much, in some cases you shouldn't use it. But it's a sort of a fine line between the subtle hint of having music to create an atmosphere and having too much. <laughs> have a big loud set of music. You need small sort of hidden away speakers where sound can come from. It doesn't even, even need to be music. The only reason why I'm mentioning music is because when we are having our in, uh, our in at Conquest on our and our in at the local lot that I play at, we use music. Uh, I was gonna say fake music, but it's not. We, we're using music from devices to play. We're using digital music, we're using speakers, hidden away speakers to play. Like very subtle, well maybe not so subtle, but it's, it's our magic music box, so to speak. But every time, I mean, it can't replace a real bard or real musicians. So if you have somebody that play bars or musicians, slowly lower the, the volume of your digital music to, don't just, don't just press stop, but slowly lower it and then let them take over. That's much better, it's much more alive, it creates a lot more role play. But having the digital music there or having it, the speakers to create the atmosphere can also create an atmosphere automatically, especially if you're not that many people. It sort of gives the feeling of having a lot more alive atmosphere around you. And it doesn't have to be only for ins, it's especially if you have something like a cave system that you want to, let, let's say you have a school and you made like this cave system that you have in the different areas of the hallways and the classrooms and everything, you can play these, this dripping cave sound out from the monitors and it's kind of sort of creating this closed feeling of everything around you and it's becoming really dense and you can hear the drips from water somewhere dripping down. Now you can't see it, but you can hear it. Or if you're out in the forest, like let's say you're an elf, you can... I, I wouldn't really say you should use music when you're out in the forest, but if you... You could potentially use it out there. I mean, it might not be super great, but you, you could use it. You can find music on YouTube, which has these six hour long fairy-like fantasy music. And you can put that on and just put the volume really low, so it's like only like there slightly. And it's not enough to like really hear unless it's completely quiet, but it's sort of like in the back of the mind. It's sort of creating like an, like an invisible, an invisible ambience that you, it sort of creates this feeling 
around the area that, that, that you are in. And that's, that's what I want to say. And this is something I've learned from, this is something I've learned from being at Dystopia Haunted House, uh, Dystopia Entertainment or being in the haunt down there because, I mean, it's not subtle what they play because it's really loud and obnoxious. It's a haunted house after all. But that creates an atmosphere around the rooms and around the whole setting that you're in. And it sort of works on your mind and your nerves. But it's also something I've learned from working with video and doing video editing. That putting music, like really sort of like you can almost not hear it, sort of create this invisible sort of ambient layer that sort of help create or set the mood, if you will. Now I'm a little interested to hear what your opinion on this is because like I said I had some really strong opinions against using digital music and now I'm kind of leaning a little towards it being okay. I mean not leaning I'm actually I'm okay with it as long as it's not like super too much uh, too big a deal but what's your opinion on it? I'd love to know and and which cases do you see it's okay in which cases would you say it's not so much okay? In some cases you also need the lack of sound, lack of music, in order to create the right moods. And that's something to also keep in mind. Also, by the way, if you're using your phone, remember to turn off notifications and all that stuff. And if you're using YouTube to play music, check if there's any ads in the middle of the video so you don't get weird ads or somebody calling you on the speaker, because that's just gonna ruin the mood completely. <laughs> if you have any quick tips, tips and tricks, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And do remember to God damn it, phone. Don't make sounds right now. If you have any quick tips, tips and tricks, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Be sure to make the little note out in the front that this is my quick tip and here it is. And this is very important. You should see it like that. Just write quick tip and that way it's easier for me to catch and fetch out and drag it up here and put it in a video and put it out to you guys and tell you guys what kind of quick tips, tips and tricks people out other other people out there in the world are having about LARP. Blah, 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 blah. My tongue is like making nuts on itself right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe or hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time a new video pops out here. It can either be a quick tip or a tutorial or any other type of video. We're making a lot of different stuff only that most of the stuff takes a long time. So. You might want to be notified every time because when you are, uh, when you put out a video, they're usually pretty good. Or at least I think so. <laughs> Anyhow, see you lappers later. Bye. I forgot to say, you can jump over to Instagram if you want to see other stuff we're working on. And if you want to subscribe to the channel and show support, you can click here on the circular channel on icon on your right. Or you can click on the video here on your left to see more of our videos.